Up B, up, up B, dare back to the ground. Detailed you, up B, go. And that's a lot easier with three platforms covering everything. Uh huh. Um, I know Beast hates this matchup. <laughs> yeah, I grind it out so much. So if he loses this, then I am gonna be mad. <laughs> I don't know. You play you play a pretty unique, uh, pretty unique three, nest. Two, eh. Comparatively. One. But on the flip side, I've pulled out all the stops versus me. <laughs> he's pulled out all the stops versus me. So he has a ton of tools right, in his so arsenal. So we're going in. Though I guess the fact that he often plays me and not Flash might actually go into consideration yeah. for who wins this. Yeah, I played uh, last, um, last monthly, I played Vorpal in Pools, and I went game watch. And I took game one because he was so used to the way Bees plays, and I play a little bit different with Bees. Uh -huh. So he, he, did, he did win it in the end, but he adjusted. But the first game, he was just not ready for the slight differences. So that might happen here with uh, with CSC Actius Luna, who just pillars it doesn't matter, and gets in there. Uh -huh. I actually really like this matchup as a uh, game of watch. Yeah. Generally, it's supposed to go to game watch like most of the time. Yeah, game I like watch it. has all of those liquid hitboxes that take yeah. out messes. Anything. And you can neither, crash that neither has a super good approach, but game watch has the pan. To the PK fire, so like, I don't know. They, they have very similar styles. That they both don't have great approaches, but they can both punish really hard. Uh huh. It's just whoever plays more patiently, and Bees just hates playing patiently. <laughs> Woo! Generally, yeah. the person who approaches first in this matchup is the one that loses. Yeah, definitely. Ness can kind of just bait and punish whatever Game Watch has with a dash attack, yeah. while Game Watch, all he has to do is crash cancel. <laughs> crash cancel does detail. Yeah. Also, SCI is another rather big thing about this matchup because for Game Watch versus Ness, Ness has those PK Fire and the Fair that you can easily SCI out of. With oh, you can pick, you can SCI out of those? Yeah, they're oh. multi hits, and I they're should learn, I should learn how to do that next time. Yeah, but on the flip side, Game Watch has the Bear, which you can kind of get out of and then shield and then wave dash back once he's done with that. Two two, yep. Oh, good, good pan, good pan. And another up thing up is fair, all right. Ooh, straight up. I like the mix up. Uh huh. Another thing that you can SCI out of a game on Game Watch is either the up air or the up B. It prevents him from getting up the follow ups that he yeah. generally gets. Yeah, people have been doing that a lot better lately. I'm glad that's finally people are finally like getting the counterplay to Game Watch. Uh huh. Because before it, it felt it felt really free a lot of times just because you would beat them because they don't know the DI. And since so many people play Game Watch now, it's people are learning it. I like it. I like the. It's more. It's a more dynamic game now. Uh huh. On, on our part, as a game, as game watch mains, I actually have to like read DI and figure it out and stuff instead of just auto auto comboing. Something that Flash did there, which worked out but wasn't actually that safe, was he tried to recover or he did recover and sweet spotted the ledge from above. Game watch can simply just down tilt. Yeah. And because of the <laughs> down large tilt, hitbox. Down tilt covers a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just trying to play patient, play with the pan. B, he needs. To, uh, I think we need to. We need to teach Actius, Actius Luna, the runaway turnaround, turnaround uh, B reverse, whatever it's called, B reverse bacon. Uh huh. Because right now he's just kind of like dashing forward, short hopping it. And if you do a dash away into B reverse, you just like just stand still and just create a better wall. That's what uh, the higher level game watchers have done. Something I haven't seen Flash doing at all. Woo. Oh, Bees went for the style there. Oh, Bees Some never goes for hammers. Anyway, there it is. Takes with the fair. Yeah. Flash went for, I believe it was a drop down double jump. Either that or, no, I think it was a tournament winner double jump because he was above the ledge when he double jumped. But anyways, as I was saying, something that Flash didn't do at all, which he kind of needs to do specifically against Bees, is he needs to down air a lot more. It's how he's going to get like those big combos. Yeah, and for sure. Actius Luna never Three, really texts it. Two, one, He's got like 25% rate. Ooh, this is a nice song. Mario 64, the uh, ice level. Cool, cool I think mountain. It's, I think it's slide. Yeah, it's the the penguin race, I think. Yeah. 64, like star three in the snow level. Gets the double hit, both yeah. hits in the down air. Dare to landing dare box because that's a grinding hitbox. So it's a weird, weird move. Yeah. In that situation, Flash shouldn't have gone for 
whatever he did, the magnet bear, bear he should have just tried to go for the down air again because Viz is almost at the percent. Okay. But then he gets <laughs> the back. Like that. That's pretty head. cool. Oh, nice platform chase by Beast. Oh, we, this just in, Ovis Beach, BS Chain in a Ganon Ditto. Okay. So, so that happened. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Ah, the up B, the up B fun. He was fun doing well with the upwards combo, but as soon as he did the up tilt, up air was the only option that he had that could have traded with bees. Yeah. Everything, everything else Ooh. either didn't go that high Rest or didn't hit him. Yeah, I think Flash just needs to play a little more conservatively. He's just trying to like go in right now, and that's what you don't want to do against any game of watch. Yeah, he just needs to sit back and dash dance. Definitely. Oh, in maybe, that situation. Maybe use some PK, PK fires more, use the ledges, I don't know. Uh-huh. Dare more. <laughs> oh, or get a hard it's read the sweet back. spot. That's second, the second one he's got in this game. <laughs> Getting hard reads. Oh, that's. Oh. Trying to catch him with some bacon while he's floating out there. Uh huh. So B's club the edge guard there. There were a couple of things that I saw Flash do that he probably shouldn't have done. Now, the first thing that he did was, after he grabbed the ledge the first time, I don't remember how he grabbed it, but Nair. after he oh, did that, he did a ledge jump cancel fair, and in that situation, all bees had to do was detail, and that's exactly what he did. After that, he was in a really bad position. Yeah. It would have probably been a bit better if bees was prepared for him to up B. Yeah, it looks like bees is trying to, like, he's thinking about going out there and trying to, like, get the deep edge guard off stage, kind of style a little bit, and then he's coming back, and he's in non position for either of them. Yeah. Because he'll like he'll do like a, a short hop like right there, he'll do a short hop in like that area at the right of the ledge, and then he'll just come back down and he's not in position to do either kind of edge guard. Uh -huh. So he just needs to commit to one option or the other. Probably stay on stage and detail because it's super easy against this. Uh, that really fair for the turn of the winner, yeah. You gotta stop jumping from ledge. Yeah, he's always gone for sweet spots, which is kinda good because he's getting them, but Yeah, he's getting them. He's just punishing them. Can detail Get him before he gets a sweet spot? Yes. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So that's what I would do. I don't know. I think he's just trying to play it safe. He's got the, the lead, the game lead, and the... Oh, I didn't never get him the thing. Oh, yeah. Anyways, what I was saying earlier. Yeah. So he always goes for the sweet spot, and since Beast isn't punishing that with the down tilt, that's good and all. But right Ooh. afterwards, he always goes for the ledge yeah. jump, which Beasley. generally is Ness's best option until you start doing it again and again and once again. It, once it's easy to read, you can... Because Beach has gotten, I think, two or three of his kills off just fair on the, the ledge jump. Jump yeah. the ledge. And PK Flash is not what you want to do there. Oh, right, good mix-up, finally. I guess that is, like, a super mix-up where you always go for one option... <laughs> And then you keep it close, and then near <laughs> the end when it counts, you go for another ah, one. He's missing the spare. I don't know. Or Nair, rather. Oh, gets him. Uh, oh, what was that? I missed it. What? Uh, Flash went for the angle down the stage, but B's just covered it by doing the... by doing the Nair. Okay. I didn't see what move it was, so it's Nair. Uh -huh. Alright, so uh, good shit to Actius Luna. Yeah. In that situation, 